On Monday, Rangers take on Celtic in this season's old firm clash that has been labelled a must-win for the Jazz if they want to win the league title. Ahead of the derby clash against Celtic, Rangers have been handed a huge boost, of which we would like to share with you in today's video. Not only that, but we also take a look at the Manchester City starlet that the club are tracking ahead of the window, and finally go over all the Rangers news from the last 24 hours. There is so much to cover in today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Before we get into today's video, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Rangers have shared their sadness and condolences after a supporter passed away shortly after Wednesday's match against Motherwell. Robbie Stewart fell unwell on his way home from the match on his supporters club bus. The 73-year-old sadly passed away soon after, with the football club saying that their thoughts are with Robbie's friends and family. The club's official statement shared to social media said, Rangers Football Club is immensely saddened to confirm the death of a supporter following Wednesday's match. Robbie Stewart, age 73, became unwell aboard his supporters club bus, the Perth True Blues. Our thoughts and prayers are with Robbie's friends and family. Alfredo Morelos is fit for Monday's clash with Celtic as the striker could lead the line for Rangers. Michael Beale's men face a huge old firm matchup at Ibrox as they try to claw back Celtic in the title race and reduce the gap to six points. However, there were fears that the Colombian striker would be unavailable after he was forced off during Wednesday's win over Motherwell with what appeared to be a hamstring injury. However, Rangers boss Beale has now revealed Morelos is fit and that Antonio Kolak will also be available, though doubts remain over the return of Kimar Roof. Speaking at his press conference on Friday, Beal said, Alfredo Morelos is trained and should be available, along with Kolak. Roof is touch and go, he would definitely be available if Morelos doesn't make it. With five subs, there are benefits and I like it. It allows us to manage minutes for players and change up things tactically during the game. Morelos has played in each of the four games under Beal's management so far, scoring two goals in that time. The Colombian has mostly been kept out of the team by Kolak this season, who has already scored 14 goals in 24 appearances in all competitions. But with the Colombian's return from injury, the manager will be happy to finally have more options available to him up front. As for Kimar Roof, his season has been dogged by injury and has just made two appearances as a result. Rangers are interested in signing James Trafford from Manchester City, according to a report. The goalkeeper has impressed on loan at Bolton Wanderers this season in keeping 10 clean sheets to help propel the Trotters into English League One playoff position. The Daily Mail reports that Trafford's performances have caught Michael Beale's eye and that the Ibrox club could make a move to sign Trafford when the transfer window opens next month. A deal for Trafford at this stage of the season would or to be likely to be a loan, although could include an option to buy. His first team chance at the Etihad are likely to be limited for the foreseeable future, with Edison, Scott Carson, Zach Steffen and Stefan Ortega Moreno all ahead of him in the packing order under Pep Guardiola. Whether he would swap regular time at Bolton to make a move to Ibrox at this stage of the season remains to be seen, but his long-term prospects of playing at Ibrox would be greater than if he remains in the English champions and could make a summer move more appealing. Another player being linked to Rangers ahead of the January transfer window is St Mirren midfielder Kano Bukas. Reports suggest the Australian is being monitored by both Middlesbrough and Rangers ahead of the window. The Australian featured for the Socceroos in Qatar earlier this month and has become the subject of interest from a number of clubs around the UK. Just earlier this week, Rangers were credited with their having their eye on the midfielder, with scouts having reportedly been sent to keep track of the player in Paisley. We understand that the Buddies would be open to selling their star man if the right offer comes their way this winter. Bacchus is currently contracted at St. Mirren until the summer of 2024. Whilst the Old Firm derby is coming up this Monday, yesterday seen Rangers B take on Celtic B in the Lowland League. The Ibrox side have been the youth team to beat since joining the senior ranks and they topped the division heading into this one, six points ahead of Celtic, who they've already beaten twice. However, despite taking the lead through Charlie McCann, Celtic came out victorious, beating Rangers 5-2 to close the gap to three points at the top of the table. 
Chris Sutton insists VAR can't ruin the spectacle Monday's old firm game, but admits he fears John Beaton and Willie Collum could let it happen. The former Celtic striker reckons referees Beaton and VAR official Collum have to be as strong as possible and only use the technology if it's absolutely necessary. VAR will be used in a game between the two Glasgow Giants for the first time ever after being introduced to Scottish football in November. Sutton has been unimpressed by its use and there has been a number of incidents since then that have been controversial, particularly surrounding the handball law. The implementation of the law isn't the fault of VAR official or the referee whether people agree on the decisions or not, but Sutton still has concerns over how it's been used in Scottish football. He told the Daily Record, Ibrook should be a great occasion. I just worry about what is going to happen and whether the game is going to descend into a farce. John Beaton has to be really strong and must make the right calls, and Willie Collum in the VAR bunker should only get involved if it's absolutely necessary. The old firm is a showcase fixture. We can't let it become a shambles. Neil Lennon believes Ryan Kent is a Premier League quality player, but reckons Rangers may struggle to find a buyer for the winger should they decide to sell this January. The former Celtic boss knows how good the 26-year-old can be on his day, but also appreciates he has not played close to that level for the last few months. Still, when he's fit and firing, Kent can be one of the top players in the country, and Lennon reckons he could do a job in the top flight of English football. He said Ryan Kent is a very good player, he has not been productive over the last six months as he has previously has been, but he is a player who is good enough for the Premier League. It will be interesting to see though if he would want to stay or go. Giannis Hadji is a talented player who will need to have bolt up as he is a little light for the Scottish League so I'm hoping he will have a comeback from the break as an improved player. However, I will be amazed if Rangers decide to sell Ryan and I'm not aware of a huge amount of interest in him he will need to be better in the second half of the season before anyone takes him on. Rangers fans, what do you think of the upcoming Old Firm clash against Celtic? And let me know your score predictions down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. Please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. We've also released our Glasgow Rangers Sex Pistol t-shirts. They're now available on our website. Just go down into the link in the description or go to purescottishfootball.com and get one there. Thank you and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.